The stepson is pursued by a bear that is hungry after his stepmother, who is envious of her stepson, abandons him in the middle of the forest for no apparent reason, although he is terrified for his life, the young youngster is unable to flee the situation, what follows is a horrible act committed by the bear, Veronica, who is experiencing anxiety, begins to break out in a run, they had been going for a considerable amount of time, despite the fact that Alexei is of a little stature and that it is difficult to navigate his wheelchair through the jungle, Veronica is resolute in her intention to abandon the boy in the depths of the forest, far away from the reach of anyone the fact that she imagines herself eventually having children with Dimitri, the boy's father, is what drives her to carry on with her commitments, Alexei is under the impression that they are going for a delightful stroll, however, Veronica is attempting to appear interested by pointing out various animals, insects, and flowers, while at the same time she is feeling offended by his presence, Veronica immediately stops pushing Alexei's wheelchair as soon as they reach a little clearing, and then she vanishes into the trees, leaving him abandoned, Alexei comes to the realization that his stepmother has abandoned him on purpose as time goes on, and he starts to cry since he is aware that he is stuck with frightening predators right around him, it is during the midst of his weeping that he hears the sound of leaves rustling and twigs snapping, soon after, he comes face to face with a large brown bear that is coming from the bushes, when Alexei realizes that he has been abandoned to face a vicious assault, she is overcome with panic, the bear growls menacingly toward her, having reached the point of desperation, he withdraws into his wheelchair, fiercely shutting his eyes and praying for his survival, beginning at infancy, Alexei's life was marked by adversity, the medical professionals had predicted, that he would be confined to a wheelchair for the rest of his life. Dimitri, Alexei's sad father, was left to care for him alone after his mother gave birth to him because she was unable to deal with the news and fled immediately after giving birth regardless of the fact that his son had a disability, Dimitri never wavered in his commitment to providing support for his wife and communicating his point of view, despite his efforts, she ultimately departed. Therefore his efforts were ultimately fruitless over the course of the subsequent years, Dimitri made tremendous personal sacrifices in order to fulfill his unwavering commitment to provide care for his kid, he placed his own life on weight, keeping only a few friendships and relying on his parents for support so that he could focus on his mother and father despite his commitment, Dimitri experienced feelings of loneliness because he was unable to date because Alexei's requirements were so strict, Dimitri was overjoyed when Veronica and Alexei immediately struck it off with one other, despite the fact that he was hesitant to introduce his new girlfriend to his youngest kid, in awe of Veronica's thoughtfulness and concern, Dimitri extended an invitation to her to move in with him, and he finally proposed to her, at first, Veronica was enthusiastic about her new work, and she demonstrated a genuine interest in providing care for Alexei, on the other hand, her temperament appeared to change while Dimitri was absent, Veronica's feelings of being overshadowed by his care led her to perceive him, as a burden, and she abandoned Alexei as a result, Veronica's attitude shifted when she found out that Dimitri did not want any more children, despite the fact that she had previously been tolerant of Dimitri's existing family, as Veronica's feelings of betrayal and yearning for her own children developed, she became increasingly resentful, which ultimately led to her neglecting Alexei and giving away her darker side, as Veronica felt a strong bitterness toward Alexei, whom she blamed for breaking. Her goals, she was filled with rage toward Dimitri and a sense of inadequacy in the dynamic of their family. Veronica recognized an opportunity to free herself from Alexei and go forward with her dream of having a perfect family when Dimitri said that he would be going on a business trip in the near future. Veronica gave Dimitri the assurance that she would take care of Alexei while he was away, but she was actually trying to conceal her true intentions by pretending to be a loving stepmother and wife, in private. She devised a plan to completely and utterly walk away from Alexei, Veronica made the suggestion that Dimitri go on a journey to the forest many days into Dimitri's trip, she enticed Alexei with the promise of going on an adventure and receiving sweets, Alexei happily accepted the opportunity since he knew it would allow him to form a bond with his stepmother, while Veronica was pushing him farther into the forest, Alexei was completely unaware to the true nature of their excursion. He was taking pleasure in the sights and sounds that surrounded him at the moment when they arrived. At a clearing, Veronica immediately left him behind, 
leaving Alexei bewildered and all by herself, despite the fact that Alexei initially believed that Veronica had simply gone to retrieve something, she continued to have hope nevertheless, as time went by and Veronica did not come back, Alexei came to the realization that he had been abandoned against his will, on the other hand, Veronica couldn't help but chuckle to herself, pleased to be free of the responsibility of taking care of Alexei, even. If it meant having to push him through the forest, which was a difficult chore, Veronica was unable to comprehend how effortlessly she had managed to trick Alexei, she had the intention of fabricating a catastrophic accident to Dimitri in order to guarantee that they would finally be able to become the picture-perfect family that she had always sought, with Alexei being removed from the equation, as more time passed. Alexei's anxiety level increased, alone in the thick woodland, he came to the realization that Veronica would not be coming back for him. Due to the fact that he was unable to handle the rough terrain in his wheelchair and the fact that night was drawing near, Alexei felt increasingly afraid, after some time, he came to the realization that Veronica's intentions had never been genuine, all she had wanted was to leave him behind, fear grew stronger as he became aware of rustling coming from behind him, Alexei became terrified when he saw the bear approaching, particularly because he was aware that Veronica had warned him about the hazardous residents of the forest, on the other hand, to his utter surprise, the bear approached him in a kind manner and sniffed around him with natural curiosity despite the fact that Alexei was initially afraid, his apprehension dissipated as the bear gently poked him in a friendly manner, he leaned out toward the bear with trepidation, hoping to find comfort in the improbable camaraderie that he was experiencing, as soon as the bear became aware of Alexei's grief, it moved closer to him. Providing him with both solace and protection, Alexei experienced a sense of comfort as he laughed at the bear's playful antics, he realized that he was not the only person in the wide forest during that moment, nevertheless, he did not give up hope in the situation, when he was accompanied by the bear, he experienced an immediate sense of motivation. A cabin that belonged to an elderly man was located not too far away from where the youngster was standing, but the boy had no idea that it was. There, for as long as he could remember, this man had fantasized about living in the woods, however, after meeting his wife many years ago, they decided to make their home in the city, there, they established a life together with their children, where they were able to take advantage of secure work and good educational opportunities, after the passing of his wife ten years ago, he eventually found it intolerable to continue living in the house that they had previously shared, at long last, he was able to realize his long-held dream of moving to the woods from the mountains. At the same time that night fell, the man set out on his usual stroll, these were moments that he cherished, taking pleasure in the magnificent sunset and watching the forest undergo transformations as nocturnal creatures emerged from their hiding places in spite of the fact that he had been living in the jungle for ten years, it never stopped providing him with fresh discoveries from day to day, today, on the other hand would turn out to be unlike any other day the man was strolling along, singing a happy melody to himself, till all of a sudden he stopped moving and froze in his tracks, a young child who was seated in a wheelchair was the only person he saw in the distance as a result of the sight, the man was rendered silent, interactions with other people in the forest were extremely uncommon, since he had a feeling that something was wrong, he hurried over to the boy, on the other hand, just as they were about to approach him, a gigantic bear appeared from the underbrush. Although the man was accustomed with bears in the forest, he had never before come across one that was positioned so close to him, since he was concerned for the well-being of both himself and the boy, he made an instinctive effort to frighten the bear away by yelling and gesturing in a highly erratic manner. Amazingly, the bear started to move away from the area, on the other hand. The man was completely taken aback by what transpired after that, an unexpected turn of events occurred when the boy yelled at him to stop what he was doing, the father, who had been shouting, stopped what he was doing and turned his attention to the child after being startled by the boy's answer, in a series of quick successions, the young kid disclosed that the bear had spent a considerable amount of time keeping watch over him, acting as his defender and guardian, such a story was completely foreign to the individual and it left him feeling extremely moved during the whole course of the talk that took place between the child and the man. The bear remained steadfastly by the boy's side and did not engage in any aggressive behavior. The elderly man quietly knelt down in front of the young kid and reassured the bear out loud, emphasizing his intention to be of assistance, 
while the bear was observing this, it appeared as though it was acknowledging the man's desire to care for the boy, the elderly guy inquired about the reason why Alexei was by himself in the woods, which prompted the young child to describe how his stepmother had abandoned him in that location, Alexei related the story of the bear's protective presence, highlighting the bear's role in ensuring his safety for everyone involved, a stark contrast between the cruelty of humans and the compassion of animals left the man feeling profoundly affected, the elderly man encouraged Alexei to return to his cabin and ensured him that he would get in touch with the authorities once they arrived. He also provided the child with food and water, Alexei welcomed the bear with gratitude and took a moment to embrace it as a sign of her appreciation, as soon as the man arrived to the cabin, he immediately began providing Alexei with sustenance and warmth, after that, he contacted the authorities to report the youngster who had been abandoned, it was guaranteed that the police would arrive as quickly as possible, despite the fact that the cabin was located in a rural area. In spite of the fact that she had a full stomach and was surrounded by the warmth of the fire, Alexei quickly succumbed to tiredness and fell asleep on the couch, in the following hours, he was jolted awake by a knock at the door of the cabin, Alexei went with the police to the hospital for a checkup when she became aware of the events that had transpired throughout the day, during the time that Alexei was getting ready to leave the cabin, he gave the elderly guy a warm embrace and expressed his sincere gratitude for the aid and generosity he had shown throughout the trial the elderly man was given. The assurance that he would make sure that everyone was aware of his bravery. At the same time that he smiled with a tear in his eye, the elderly man wished for the boy's recovery and for justice to be served for what his stepmother had done while Alexei was being treated at the hospital, Dmitri was approached by the authorities, after being taken aback by Veronica's actions, Dmitri wasted no time in returning home, plagued by feelings of guilt for abandoning Alexei. Veronica was detained and questioned by the authorities as a result of the allegations that were made against her, despite the fact that he had faith in her ability to care for the boy, Veronica first denied the allegations, nevertheless, as time went on, her genuine feelings of hatred and animosity toward Alexei became apparent, which ultimately led to her confession, she confessed that she could not stand the youngster and that she wanted him out of the way so that she could start a proper, family with Dimitri. Her intention was to concoct a dishonest story in order to trick Dimitri into believing that she had never intended to return for Alexei or divulge his whereabouts, Dimitri struggled to comprehend how Veronica had deceived him into believing that she had maternal intentions towards Alexei, he blamed himself for trusting Veronica, and he failed to understand how she had done this, Veronica's trial was a difficult experience for everyone involved. But Dimitri was finally able to find some peace of mind after she was sentenced to a sentence of attempted murder, he was resolute. In his intention to go on with his life, putting the past with Veronica in the rearview mirror and creating a fresh start for himself and his son in accordance with his commitment, Alexei related the tale of the elderly man who lived in the woods to Dimitri, who concurred with Alexei's assessment that the man was, in fact, a hero, despite the fact that Dimitri was doubtful of the bear's involvement. He couldn't help but wonder if it was Alexei's way of dealing with the situation with an indescribable sense of gratitude. Dmitri pondered the question of how he could ever live up to the generosity of the elderly guy in the woods during the visit that Dmitri and Alexei paid to the elderly man, Dmitri was taken aback to learn that all of the experiences that his son had described regarding the bear were accurate, after that, Dmitri and Alexei made frequent trips to the elderly guy which provided him a great deal of happiness because he experienced a limited number of visitors due to the fact that his own children led busy lives in the city. Over the course of time, the elderly man began to treat Alexei as if he were his own grandson, he would tell him stories about the forest and the bear that he felt had protected him, it was the bear's protective instincts and the goodwill of the elderly guy that allowed Alexei to emerge from the nightmare she had been experiencing. The remarkable memories that Alexei had of the bear and the friendship that he had created with the elderly man, whom he now affectionately named Grandpa, were things that he treasured, despite the fact that he could never forgive Veronica for the actions that she had taken, as for the subject of whether or not animals are able to detect when people are in need of assistance, this anecdote unquestionably raises the likelihood that they are animals, particularly those with strong instincts like bears have been observed to demonstrate protective behavior toward humans who are in a state of distress, this part of the 
Relationship that exists between humans and animals is one that continues to pique people's interest and leave them in a state of awe, we are very interested in hearing your comments on this narrative as well as the concept of animals being able to sense human feelings and need.